Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up your Bind DNS server on Ubuntu on Azure. So click the link in the description box to come to this listing on the marketplace. From here, what you want is that you want to create a new virtual machine. For that, simply click on get it now and then click on continue. And then from this page, you need to click on create again. And then you will be taken to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So First of all, choose the subscription that you have and then choose or create a new resource group. I am going to go with an existing resource group and then give a name to your virtual machine. I am going to call it bind DNS and then choose the region that you want, choose the size that you want. And when you are satisfied with the setting, simply click on review plus create, but make sure to choose the authentication type, either password protected authentication or SSH public key. For this tutorial, I am going to go with the SSH public key and click on review plus create. And then you have to wait for the validation to complete. Once the validation is done, simply click on create. And then it should prompt you to download the private key and create resource. So click on it and download the private key in a secure folder. Because this is the key that you would be using to connect to your SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then you would have to wait for the deployment of the virtual machine to complete. When the deployment is complete, simply click on go to resource. Now the next step that you want to do is that you want to connect to your virtual machine using the SSH terminal. So for that simply click on connect and then click on SSH. And then you would have to copy this command, open up a new PowerShell, paste the command and replace the private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for your private key, simply hit enter and then when prompted, type in yes. So now you have accessed the SSH terminal for your virtual machine. Now what you want to do is that you want to access the virtual machine using the public IP. For that, go back to portal.azure, click on overview, copy this public IP address, open up a new tab, paste the IP address, add in the port number 10,000 and hit enter. And if you get the error that the web server is running in SSL mode, then go back to your SSH terminal. So type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash webmin forward slash mini serve dot config and hit enter. And from this file, come down to this part that says SSL and change the 1 to 0. Press Ctrl O, hit enter and then press Ctrl plus X. And then you want to restart the service of webmin. So the command is sudo forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash webmin space restart. After that, reload your page and you should be able to see the webmin login. Now the thing is that we did not create an account with a username and a password. So what is this username and password? Basically it is the username and password for your Linux operating system on which you are running this webmin server. Basically our Ubuntu running on Azure. So to set a password, go back to your SSH terminal and type in the command sudo space password p a w s w d and hit enter and type in the password for your Ubuntu. After you have updated the password, go back to your website and type in the username as root and the password that you have just created. Now this should allow you to access the webmin server. From here, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to refresh the module. So simply click on this icon that says refresh modules and then open up this drop down menu for servers and click on bind DNS server. From here, we can configure our bind DNS. So the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to create a master zone. So click on create master zone, create a DNS. I am going to call it testdns.com and for the email address, I am going to type something like test at testdns.com and simply click on create. Now that you have created your DNS, you can see it over here. It says testdns.com. You can create all types of records in here. You can create an address record, name server record, public key record and so on. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to create an address record. So simply click on address, give it a name like accounts and type in the address for your virtual machine which is 20.205.20.83 without the port number and make sure to check this radio button which says update reverse and then click on create. Now as you can see that we have successfully created a record for addresses which is accounts.testdns.com. So that is how you set up bind DNS on Azure. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, leave them in the comment section and make sure to check the links in the description box for the Azure marketplace listing and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide to set up bind DNS on Azure, AWS and GCP. And if this video has helped you in any way, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.